Hi everybody, Kai Waza with you. I hope you are having or have had a, a nice Labor Day weekend. Uh, I'm actually going to be off on Labor Day. It's unusual for me to be actually off on a holiday. Not sure what I'll do. Probably record another video. <laughs> I mean, why not? Anyway, we're going through my Hawaiian record collection. We're into the letter H. And today we're up to a... Uh, uh, a single artist that I'm going to uh, just use this video today to show you all of the recordings I have by this one artist because there's quite a few. Uh, his name is Harry Hugasian and let me tell you just a little bit about him before I show you the records. Uh, he is a steel guitarist uh, born in Greece and raised mostly in Bulgaria. Uh, he moved with his parents when he was 17 to Paris. I think it was 1947? Um, I read. Anyway, uh, he had already learned how to play the steel guitar, and once they moved to Paris, he actually started performing publicly in theaters and such, and began a very, very long career. I know most people in Hawaii have never heard of Harry Hugasi, and they have no idea who you're talking about when you say the name, but uh, he was actually quite influential. Uh, he made many recordings in France. He actually moved to the island of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean next to Africa and had a quite a successful career there recording a lot of Hawaiian, Tahitian, and Malagasy, which is the Madagascar music. Uh, and his steel guitar playing was actually very influential in Africa. Uh, if you're familiar with that music, you might know there are some areas of Africa and some periods of time where the pop groups of the time incorporated a pedal Hawaiian steel guitar into their music. This is largely because of Harry Hugasian. He was very popular in Madagascar. His influence carried over to the continent. Uh, he returned to France and then continued recording through the 80s. Uh, so there's quite a few recordings I have by him. I don't have everything. Um, I wish I had everything. I hope to get everything, uh, but let's check out what I have from Harry Hugasian. So first up, this is an album called Hawaii Tahiti on RCA Victor. These albums uh, that we're going to be looking at are all from France, all recorded in France. That's where he had most of his recording career outside of the stuff he did in uh, Madagascar, which I don't have any of. Um, they were, my understanding, 78 RPMs. Um, this album is from 1965 and it features uh, supposedly one side Tahitian songs with some Tahitian singers, the other side all Hawaiian songs, although they're not really all Hawaiian, but anyway, Hawaiian style. Harry Hugasian and the South Sea Ensemble. <coughs> now, he did a whole series of records I'm going to show you, and I don't have them all, but um, I think it's just one series, although I'm a little bit confused. Um, the Hawaiian Guitar Around the World, basically. Volume 1. So these are a variety of songs, uh, supposedly representing different places in the world. That's how this series kind of went. As you see here, if you can see it, after each song it will say where it's supposedly from. And they were very uh, creative sometimes with where they would decide a song came from. For example, Wailana, which is very much a Hawaiian song, is being listed as from the Marquesa Islands. And uh, something I enjoy about Harry Hugasian also is that uh, he wrote a lot of songs. So you'll see many songs on these albums are actually composed by Harry Hugasian. I always like when people write stuff because, you know, I love, of course you love the standards, Sweet Leilani and Hawaiian Wedding Song and all that stuff, but you know, how many times can you hear that? Volume 2, Hawaiian Guitar Around the World. There 
Rocky is. He is pictured on some of these uh, records. He's uh, sometimes... I don't know if I, he, he's a great player. I want to say, I don't know if critis, criticized is the right word. I don't know, but um, I would chime in and agree with some of what I've read about his recordings, which is that they sometimes say it seems like uh, he's a great player, but sometimes certain albums or certain songs seems like they may not have been very well rehearsed or very well arranged, like they just kind of went in the studio, like, okay, let's crank this thing out, you know. You see, there's quite an assortment of titles here. Uh, <laughs> some pictures of the musicians. Now this is volume three, so we skip, and what, then the one I have next, now this one is called the Around the World with Harry Hugasi in volume five, and Disco Hawaiian, um, basically translating to like uh, Around the World and Disco Hawaiian, literally disco, they don't mean like the disc, the record, they mean disco. So this is like disco beats on most of these songs which is awesome uh but i guess this is the same series this is where it gets a little bit confusing to me because some of the records are just called you know la tour du monde some of them are called la tour du monde and disco hawaiian but the the numbering the number seems to imply to me that they're actually exactly the same series it's just some of them are disco and some of them are not Here's volume six and Disco Hawaiian. If you like, I call this kind of music to me because it's what I what I think of. Um, this was actually, I think, the first. Uh, well, not the first Harry Hugasi. The first Harry Hugasi album I ever got under his name, recording under his name. Uh, because he did have pseudonyms, but this one I got, I think, as part of a, somebody was selling some things, not online, but in a mailing, and I had never heard of this person, and I got the record, and I loved this record, loved it, loved it, and um, started looking for other things and discovered that, you know, that, that there's a whole library of music by him. I love when that happens, when you find somebody new. Now we jump from volume 6 all the way to volume 10. Just got this one too a couple weeks ago. This one features, in addition to Harry Hugasian on guitar, Freddie Carrara on accordion. But it's volume 10, so. And yes, I know it's sacrilegious, but I do. This is my writing. I write on these covers, some of them that are uh, in other languages, because a lot of times I'm when I'm uploading them to my, uh, what do you call it, hard drive, external hard drive and recording them to CD, to uh, MP3 files, I use an English name because I'm not going to remember all these fake, not fake names, but foreign names, like I'm not going to, I can't remember all that. Uh, anyway, so there's some missing ones and I don't know how far it goes, uh, even Discogs doesn't really have all the information on him I'm adding some stuff actually to Discogs I want to add this stuff but uh, anyway yeah uh, that's what I've got on the series then I do have some other ones from him this is an earlier one uh, steel Hawaiian guitar this is seven inch then I've got a couple of double LPs gatefold ones I really like this one uh, guitar Hawaiian the very unoriginal title with sometimes you see it's just Harry Hugas. Sometimes he just recorded as Harry Hugas. Gatefold. You'll see lots of original songs, titles you are not familiar with because he wrote them. 
holidays in Honolulu. Here's another uh, 2LP gateful guitar Hawaiian Harry Hugas again. And then uh, finally, I'm just going to throw in here, I know this one's running a little bit long. Uh, he did record under other names, so that can make finding his stuff a little bit difficult or easy, depending on how you look at it, as well. Uh, he recorded under the name Harry Halapana. It's a double gate for, gatefold, Hawaii, Tahiti, the Isles of Paradise. Uh, I don't know, just the pictures in there, but there's Hugasian. These are mostly all, mostly original compositions by him. And uh, he recorded under a, a number of fake names and a number of fake group names. So, you know, if you know his style, you may come across one. This is another one. Now, this is the one I've had for the longest time, but I didn't know who Harry Hugasian was at the time. From Hawaii with Love. This is by the Waikiki Guitar Group, but it is, in fact, Harry Hugasian. And I will say that, uh, and this is from 79, 1979, these two especially, the, the albums that are on these two, three records, the double set, you will find, if you come across CDs that were done like in the 80s and 90s of Hawaiian music that were coming out of Europe, they have like weird group names, you'll find sometimes it's these recordings repackaged under a different name. Um, these ones seem to surface a lot. Uh, so... Harry Hugasian, uh, great player, sort of uneven arrangements on some of the songs, very SpongeBob SquarePants kind of music, which I personally love. Uh, so let's listen to some samples from Harry Hugasian. <laughs> and the video please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more and uh, if you like this kind of music I invite you to listen to my uh, other YouTube channel which is called Hawaiian Leisure Hour and there I feature selections from the uh, Hawaiian vinyl collection have a good week we'll see you next time maybe tomorrow okay bye, -bye.